Hi, I'm Janie and this is Mark Doreen and we are one of two missionary families that Sojourn Church has sent to Thailand. The other family, the Pashis, we love so much. We really appreciate what they did here their first term. They did such a good job. Very proud of them too. Yeah. Yes. And now we're excited to hear that they have raised their budget for the next term. And as soon as these COVID travel restrictions will ease up, they can come back here. And we're just looking forward to that so much. I just wanted to share a little bit how special I'm going to tear up. No. Um, Chi Alpha and Sojourn has been to me. I grew up in a Christian home and I went to really good churches, but Chi Alpha and Sojourn Church is what really, really helped me to put all the spiritual things I had learned together to be an effective Christian believer. And the very best thing that I learned was how to disciple someone. We had such great small groups and that has been the very best tool that I have used here on the mission field is discipling Thai people. Um, I met Mark in 1978 and I brought him to Chi Alpha with me. And we were actually married two weeks after Sojourn Church became a church. So Mark, you want to share some? Yeah, so old history. So we're kind of introducing ourselves to many, probably most of you, but Sojourn Church was such a central part of our life. Married there, part of the church as it was planted in 1980. Uh, I was on the finance committee for a while and then became an elder in the church. And when Pastor Jim Bradford, uh, who our pioneering pastor, when he left, then I took over as lead pastor from 88 to 92 when uh, so kind of a transitional time for the church uh, and then we prepared to go to Thailand from there and we've been in Thailand ever since we raised our kids up in Chiang Mai Thailand served there helping with church planting uh, mentoring pastors and things and then uh, in 2012 so that's a while ago already moved to uh, Bangkok to take the area of area directors which means we are responsible for all the missions activities of our AGWM people uh, from Vietnam to Cambodia to Laos, Thailand, and Myanmar, those five countries. So in non-COVID years, my job is going, traveling a lot to these five countries and, and working with our missionaries, working with our national churches, our AG general councils, and, uh, and doing strategy and things like that. Uh, I, uh, of all the things we do, the thing that I'm most passionate about is called Change the Map, and it's raising up an army of intercessors for the Buddhist world. We live in the most Buddhist part of the world in terms of percentage of population. And so uh, we've found out that as hard as we've worked over the years, and as much as we've done in terms of church planning and strengthening church and so forth, we desperately need God's, the moving of the Holy Spirit to intervene because our efforts are so small compared to what the Holy Spirit can do when people intercede and go to prayer. And so that's that's our passion is trying to raise up those, those intercessors. But we want to thank you, Sojourn Church. Thank you so much for your faithfulness over the year. It was cool to have Keith and Elaine lock a small come and spend some time with us, old friends, uh, a couple of years back. But we love you guys, Pastor Craig. Uh, love you and appreciate uh, all that you do for us and your prayer, your faithfulness. So thanks for being a mission sending church. Thanks for being a mission supporting church. We love you guys. God bless you. Yes, God bless you.